In today's market report, we're going to look over February 2024 versus February 2023. We're going to do that for the resort base areas of Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. We're going to look at everything north of there. Then we're going to take a broader look and do that same deal except for more markets, Dolphin Island, Panama City. Then we're also going to take a look at how's January look to February. Are we seeing acceleration in the market or is it trickling down some? So for Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, the average sales price for February 2024 down a little over 14% from last year. The days on market are up 12%. Transactions closed are down 21%. They did 113 transactions. I think that we were closing a lot of developments out last year. Some properties that went under contract in the COVID era, the sales prices were higher. Some big housing developments, some new condo developments, and you really have to look through the first six months, eight months of this year through that sort of lens and kind of dive deeper into that. Days on market, mortgages are up. I think people were in an election year. I think it's just taking a little while to get people back in the market. Transactions went down 21%. The traditional market, Foley North, up 1%. $400,000 is the average sales price. Number of days on market, down 6%. Closed sales, down almost 14%. If we were to break out Orange Beach this year, last year Orange Beach, we had 78 properties selling. February, this year, 70. The average sales price, 680 versus 898. When you see an anomaly like that, you got to just figure that the that the market, that there was something going on that was not normal. Total transactions for Dolphin Island down 61%. Gulf Shores down almost 13%. Orange Beach down almost 10%. Average sales price down 27% on Dolphin Island, down 6.7%, down 27% on uh, Orange Beach. If you're a buyer, maybe this is some good opportunity to come in and buy, but here again, is this just an anomaly? Do we have to have some trends going through here? Total transactions in Perdido Key down 56%. Average sales price down 14%. Pensacola Beach flat on total transactions. Average sales price up almost 7%. Destin down 28% in, in transactions, which is right in line with what you're seeing like a resort based kind of property. Sales price down only 0.26%. 30 a down 10% transactions. Average sales price down only 1%. Panama City down 6.7% transactions. Average sales price actually up 2.4%. There's definitely a trend here with Panama City. We're seeing that. What I always find interesting is kind of like where we are now. Are we moving in a good direction or a bad direction? Total transactions in Baldwin County, January to February were actually up 12%. Orange Beach was up almost 25%. More transactions in February than took place in January. Gulf Shores was up almost 8% more transactions in February than than in January. Average sales price down 1.2%. Not a lot to read into that. I mean, this is why I don't like really pay too much attention by that average sales price for February being down so much because it's also down January to February. I think it was just you didn't have a lot of big expensive properties closing. It's down 30% in Orange Beach. So I'd look for that to kind of level off, get more normal. Gulf Shores up 12%. What's happening in the weekly of this market, right? So Baldwin County, there's 4,300 164 total listings. In the past seven days, 448 new properties came into market. 306 went pending. So Baldwin County, 41 days of total inventory if we didn't have this big active listing list. Orange Beach, 54 days of total inventory, 41 days in Gulf Shores. And there's 702 properties for sale in Orange Beach and 897 in Gulf Shores, way more than we were seeing last year. This is what I would say. I think we have an anomaly on the, especially in Orange Beach, some expensive stuff sold in January, some expensive sold, stuff sold last year. I would expect that we'll probably be more, more in line as we see March and April and May's data. Anecdotally, I'll say this. I think there's less property selling. I think that people are not just now coming to terms with the fact that interest rates are not going to go down. Despite some realtors saying they think they're going to go down, some bankers thinking they're going to go down. I don't think they're going to go down. The bankers that I trust don't think they're going to go down. I think what we have here is what the rates are or what the rates are. I don't think the short-term interest rate, the federal fund rate, is going to go down too much. The way we fund this country is, since we're always running deficits, is through government bonds. The major buyer of government bonds is China. The thought process for most economists is that they are going to be in a decline and we are going to have to sell government bonds to fund Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, with all the boomers kind of coming of age, getting out 
of the workforce and now tapping into this product. So they're also probably going to be pulling their money out of the stock market and eventually putting it into bonds. It's one of the largest influential voting blocks. That's why I think that the federal fund rate's not going to go way down. And we're just not in a recession. This may be the new norm. I think that coming out of 2008 up to COVID, where we saw rates in the fours and the fives, that's an anomaly. That's just not normal. And if you look at, honestly, through a stretch from World War II to now, the economy has grown exponentially more than at any other time in the, in the history of the world. Higher interest rates in the sevens, probably need to get used to that. And I think the stock market, the housing market in general, kind of agree that this is kind of where we are. Prices are where they are. We're not going to see them go down. Like that would be deflation, not disinflation, where prices actually went backwards on goods and services. We're just seeing them trying to get back to two. And I think this last little mile of trying to get back to two is going to take longer and be harder than we actually expected. We'll see how far the Fed is removed from politics. We'll see what the market does. If you have any questions, want to talk to me any more about your specific property, whether you're buying or selling, give us a call. You can DM us. Catch you next month.